Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am actually currently waiting for the delivery truck to show up to take my furniture that we purchased a couple weeks ago that didn't work out and bringing us our new stuff that we went and reselected last Saturday. Um, <laughs> I am hoping that when they bring it, I can literally explain to them they have to take the backs off of these, these ca this couch and love seat in order to carry it up the stairs. And then they have to reassemble it for me. Yeah. So I'm hoping that that all works out. Um, but I am actually currently waiting on them to show up. The roofers were supposed to show up today to finish pavilion, um, but it's been raining all morning. So they canceled that and they'll be here Monday um, along with the mason to start the um, footing or the, uh, the, the fireplace that we're putting in there. So um, they're gonna be starting on that all on Monday, which I'm super excited about. Um, however, we probably won't be here <laughs> to finish watching the fireplace be built and that's unfortunate. But when we get back, hopefully it'll all be built and we will have a finished pavilion um, ready for us to decorate and spice up and spruce up and hang TV and hang, hang lights all in it and make it all so pretty and so inviting and so welcoming. And I'm, I'm looking so forward to just being able to sit out there and, you know, Watch, have a fire in the fall and watch a movie or and whatnot but anyway um so today i have been up since about five o'clock this morning and i just i woke up at five o'clock to go to the bathroom and i went back to bed and i'm like i can't fall asleep so i might as well just get up and try to get some stuff done and find some things to do around the house so that's what i did um so what i did this morning is i sat down for just a few minutes and watched a little bit of tv watched the weather received the text, checked emails, um, checked comments on my YouTube video, and then um, went ahead and posted, or up, um, started. I go in and I can change the time on when I want the video to, to start or upload, and I usually have it at like 7 a.m. to start. Um, but if I get up before then, I just go ahead and just start it, you know, make it live. Um, so that's what I did, and then, I went straight to my bedroom, my office, where I get my makeup and stuff on. Um, I don't even know why I call it an office, just my room, my room. Um, so I went in there and I cleaned it all up. I put all my shoes away, I um, dusted everything down, I took care of my makeup table and got that all nice and cleaned up. And then I went through all of the empties and the products that I wanted to share with you guys. So I, I did all that. And then I came in here, I took a shower, uh, made up the bed, got myself together and ready, threw a load of laundry in, which I think that's about done now. And, um, I filmed a video and it just was so fun to just kind of sit down and chat with you guys about beauty products and hair products and makeup and like my favorite makeup remover wipes, which you guys probably already know. But um, yeah, so I did all that. That is already done. That is already edited and actually up in queue, ready for you guys to watch next week. It won't be up until Friday the 19th. Um, that's when I actually put it in to, to play, so to go live. Um, so yeah, that's not gonna be until next Friday. Um, but I did it, I did it, and I'm very, very happy about it. Now that whole bin is completely cleared out, all of the stuff for recycling is in the recycling bin, and that room is nice and fresh, and I love it. Um, I actually had a comment earlier. Somebody asked me how I'm liking my Stanley. Loving it. I will say it is a little big. It is a little heavy. It is a little bulky sometimes. I, you know, it's hard to hold up here because it's very slippery unless you go like this. Um, but I usually have to hold it down here to grab it. But then I can put it like this. But I will say I don't really care for to use this in my car because it does take up a lot of room in my little cup holders, so I will use my other ones for my car. But ice stays in this all day long and it does not melt and I love it. So, and it's nothing but water and lemon. 
Um, so while I'm actually waiting on the movers to show up or the delivery people to show up, I actually wanted to show you guys really quick a couple of things that I actually bought at Bath and Body Works the other day. And then we are going to go through all of my candles and I'm going to either toss them or keep them or give them away. So that's going to be like what I'm going to do here with some of these candles. Um, so what I picked up while I was um, at Bath and Body Works the other day is I picked up 10 of these. These are the Bergamot Waters little wallflowers. And these are like my favorite scent. Anything with Bergamot in it is absolutely just divine. I love it. It's like my favorite, favorite, favorite scent. Um, so I actually already um, put several of these around my house. I only have four left. So <laughs> you guys walk into my house right now. It smells nothing. Like, it smells just like bergamot water. Bergamot and birch. Oh, bergamot and birch. Bergamot and birch. Yeah. I always say bergamot waters because the other candle I have over there is I think bergamot water. Anyway, bergamot and birch. It smells so good. I love it. So those are like my favorite, favorite scents from Bath and Body Works. Another thing that I picked up was this bergamot birch like room spray or like I'm going to put this in my car so I can actually spray my car and it actually smells really, really nice. But it actually comes with like a little like spray right. Oh, I think they're here. They're here. <laughs> okay, so after they leave, I will continue on with this and then I'll show you guys the new stuff upstairs. I'm so excited. As I'm waiting for them to bring this in, I'm actually looking through my cookbooks. This is that Miranda Lambert one. Um, I'm looking at the meatloaf. I actually might try to make that like on Monday um, since we're not leaving until the end of the week. So I might try to make that. That way we can have it to eat like Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday-ish. So I think I might do that. And then this wedge salad looks so good. This is in the Joanna Gaines one looks delicious all righty guys so they are gone the furniture has been delivered it looks amazing probably should have went with this to begin with and then we wouldn't have had this problem but oh well live and learn whatever um i still like the other furniture um but now that i see this up there it just looks so much better so i do like it um but anyway no big deal we got to exchange it got to get something different and that's all i care about so we have furniture upstairs now yay um and i'm not going to take you guys up there just yet um maybe in my next vlog or something i will but for right now i'm not going to because um we need to switch it we need to flip it around so we thought that the love seat only had that center console in the middle and the couch has a center console as well and like flips down super super nice i didn't know that he was showing that to me upstairs i don't know why the girl at the place didn't show that to us at ashley but whatever um but anyway um we want to i want to flip it now i want to put the couch long couch in front of the window and then put the recliner sofa well they're both recliners but the smaller love seat over on the side where the sofa is at now um because the sofa is actually taking up a lot of space on that side so yeah i want to do all that and we'll have to probably do all that either like tonight when brian gets home or tomorrow over the weekend or something like that so but anyway it looks amazing up there it's very comfortable it looks gorgeous i love it um but now i'm actually going to go grab some of my candles and i'm going to start kind of going through those um i was actually like i said a few minutes ago kind of looking through um my recipe books the miranda lambert one and she actually has peanut butter cookies in here which i love peanut butter cookies and this is like the simplest recipe it's just very much like my recipe it's the crunchy peanut butter a cup one cup of crunchy peanut butter one cup of sugar one large egg and a teaspoon of vanilla which i never put vanilla in it which i'm gonna probably give that a try and she uses like regular sugar i always use brown sugar but that is like 
my favorite, favorite cookie ever. And because it's, I can make it gluten-free and there's no flour in it, yummy. Ooh, now I just turned turn the page and I see um, like peach cobbler, campfire cobbler. Ooh, yeah. I'm loving this cookbook. And then the other cookbook from Magnolia Table also has peanut butter cookies in it, which again, um, they, it calls for two, two and a half, fourth cups, no, excuse me, two and three fourths cup of all purpose flour. Well, unfortunately I can't have the flour, but I prefer to make the cup, the cookies very simple and easy. And mine always turn out perfectly. So I'll probably be following along with this recipe and not this recipe because that one's like too much stuff going on. Um, and the flour. So anyway, all right, I'm going to go get the candles and we're going to sit here and we're going to go through all of the can. Alrighty, so I'm actually sitting here, both standing here, getting ready to go through some of my candle stuff and share that with you guys. But I'm also trying to watch the um, the jury deliberation countdown for the jury to come back on the Lori Vallow Daybell case. Um, she's that like crazy mom who had killed her kids or had her kids killed or something like that because she thought they were zombies. But anyway, so I'm actually watching that like waiting to see when they come up with a, a verdict. Um, but so anyway, this little tray, this little container is what I actually keep all of my little wallflower plugs in and the wallflowers themselves. So I keep them all in this um, container, um, all of them. And that includes all of my like holiday ones. Um, so I have all of these ones in here and i have that one super super cute i love that one it's so pretty um i have a little bunny one and then i have a little snowflake one um this actually goes in my car in the winter time with the little smelly good things um so i have all that stuff in here um, i have a little penguin it's never been used super cute uh let's see i have stuff in here too that needs to be thrown away okay and then i have these little things these little melters, because I have like a melter. So I use, I have some of these little, I have some of these melters in here. So I'm gonna put those over here. So, and I definitely wanna keep those. And then, whoa. And I didn't realize that I had so many of these in here. I'm gonna have to go add them to my um, hand sanitizer little basket in my room. But I have a ton of hand sanitizers in here. Like, when I say a ton, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of them. Again, it's when you could buy like eight of them for like a certain amount of money. And I like, you know, went crazy buying a bunch of them. So I'm gonna go take those to my room and put them in the little uh, container that I keep them in. And then I will be right back and we will continue moving forward with the candle declutter. Alrighty, so we can just say, I am good on some hand sanitizer. <laughs> okay, so um, with these three now that I'm not gonna be using, I'm just gonna store them inside of this little container um, because I used one for this little wallflower plug-in and that is what I will go put in the um, other guest bedroom, which we call Brian's parents' room. <laughs> That's just where they stay. Um, so I'm gonna put all of these back in here and obviously I know that this is um, where I want to keep these and then I know that all of these are here and then I have these little candles I think I'm just gonna like part with these because I don't think I want them anymore I can't even get them open gosh Ugh. okay can't get that one open oh yeah no that smells nice <laughs> All right, so we're gonna keep these. These, I don't know where I got these. Where did I get these? I have no idea. But it's, they're blooming mimosa, and these are, they smell, it smells really good when I open the lid. It's probably not gonna focus, but let's see if I can get it to focus. Here we go. Super cute, and they smell nice too, and they're just really tiny. So they kind of look cute in the guest bedroom or Brian's parents' room. Okay, so that is good to go. All right, so moving on, I have this tote. And let's see what, um, let's see, let's see what candles I want to keep or part with. I, oh my gosh, this whole thing smells like fall. 
Okay, so I definitely want to keep this. This is a Yankee Candle um, Autumn Leaves. So I definitely, definitely want to keep that. Um, this one is a Vanilla Bean Noel candle. This is um, partially used Christmas candle and obviously I can just like use it again next year or this holiday. Um, this one is about empty, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and toss that one. It's like already like completely burned down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss that one. Um, let's see, this one, ooh, this one is a Halloween Perfect Pumpkin one. It still has some life to it, so I will keep that. Um, this one is Tis the Season. Oh, and that one still has a lot of life left to it as well. Christmassy. So I think what I'm gonna do is Christmas, Christmas, Fall, Halloween. That's what I'm gonna do. And then this one is Mahogany Teak Wood. Ooh, so nice. That one's a full one, so I'll keep it. And then, let's see. Oh, this is one of those butterscotch toffees. I don't really care for that, so I'm gonna give that one away. So anything that I'm gonna give away, I'm gonna put over here. I'm gonna see if like my nieces want it or something. Oh, Midnight Blue Citrus. I'm not a fan, so I'm gonna go see if the girls want it. This is a pumpkin apple, so I will keep that one for fall. And then this is just a really pretty like green one. What is this one? This is smoked, smoked vanilla. Ooh, very nice. So let's see, what would that be? Fall? And then this one, black teak wood, amazing smell. So I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, so hold on just a sec. Alrighty, so I am back in the room and I grabbed some more, woo, right here. And then, oh good, so this one's empty. I'm gonna probably like, give that one to the girls because I don't do purple. Let's see here. That's a wintry one. That's a wintry one. Okay. Ooh. So now I can get rid of this bag. Excellent. I think I have one more tote to go through, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys where I am at with, um, I've already put uh, three or four already in the recycle, um, and all of these are gonna go to recycle right here. Um, these right here are gonna go to my nieces, and they can decide, or my sister, and they can decide what they want out of those, so I'll take those this Sunday to them. And then all of these, of course, are the ones that I'm going to keep, and I'm gonna tell you right now, if I ever go into Bath and Body Works and buy a candle, <laughs> you guys stop me, stop me before I even go in to buy a candle, um, unless it's for a gift. But I will always go in to buy wallflowers because I always use those up too. Um, but now I have a good collection and I kind of put on top of here like fall, these ones are Christmas, um, these ones are gonna be Christmas, winter, these ones are like miscellaneous ones. And then here is like that favorite one I was talking to you guys about earlier is the bergamot waters. That is like my favorite scent ever. Um, don't know why I don't have many more of those, but bergamot water. So that's going to be in here like under miscellany. And then this one is going to go, um, I have a, 
I'm trying to switch things out here. This is what I'm trying to do. So this is gonna go upstairs in the closet, not the attic. It's gonna go in a closet where our luggage is at. And then I'm gonna bring the luggage down here and put the luggage in this closet in the guest bedroom where all these candles were at. So um, they're gonna be um, in that closet upstairs, which doesn't get hot, so the, I'm not worried about these melting or anything like that. So we are gonna be good with that. So that's kind of like part of this whole like decluttering thing that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to see like how many candles I wanna keep, which ones I'm gonna get rid of, which ones I'm going to throw in the recycle and throw away. Um, I think I have one more tote to go through and then we should be done with the candle declutter. Woo wee, so it looks like they have reached a verdict. So awesome. I'm just gonna continue on working on my candle declutter and um, I could not carry the other tote from the, the bedroom in there, the last tote. Um, I do see that it's all Yankee candles, so I've just kind of been carrying them in here separately. And of course, there's some of these small ones in there as well. Um, so we'll figure out what I'm gonna do with these in just a little bit, but I'm gonna carry the rest of those in here. And like I said, that is all Yankee candles. So I, yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the tote that had all of the candles in it and I have put all of the candles here and here. So these ones are all gonna get tossed and recycled and then I did add these two over here to um, the ones that I want my nieces to go through, my sister to go through or whatnot. Um, but yeah, these are all gonna get tossed. Um, let's see, this one's probably gonna get tossed, that one's gonna get tossed, that one. This one smells really good still, so I'm gonna keep that one. This one has never been used. It was, it's so pretty, I can't even open it. Hold on just a second. Okay, there it is. So that one's never been used, and that one is fresh balsam, and I believe that is from like Bath and Body Works. So I will be keeping this one. And then um, this one has already been like kind of totally like burned down. So I'm gonna go ahead and recycle that one. This one will get recycled. All these glass ones will get recycled. And then I need to look at this one. Oh yeah, that one's pretty much done too. Okay, cool. So, oh, and then this one too can get recycled. So we're all good here. Keeping that, keeping that. Recycle, recycle. Excellent. And then let's see. Those ones are still good. So I actually need to kind of start burning some of these that I can. Like that one's a fall one. That one's beach walk. I can start burning that one. So yeah. Alrighty, so I put all the ones that I'm gonna give my nieces or my sister, like I said, whoever wants to take them, they can. If they don't want them, they can toss them. Like this one's like brand new, so they can, this one's brand new. A couple of them in here were never like lit either. But anyway, um, I put them in a box. That way it's easy to carry when I go there on Sunday. Alrighty, since I only have two like in this miscellaneous box, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put them like right here in the front of this one. That way I can actually get rid of this and not have it anymore, just to save on like room. Um, so yeah, so those are all the Yankee candles. These are all the Bath and Body Works candles. So now I'm just gonna put them back in the totes and then I'll be able to bring them upstairs or hopefully Brian can later on when he gets home. So now we're gonna put him in there. So basically, I'm not gonna fit all of those in there, so I'm just gonna leave what's in the totes there now, and then um, when I go to organize it upstairs in the closet, then I will be able to put those like um, in a spot. So that's how I'm gonna do those, because those don't sit very well or stack with the Yankee Candle ones on the top there. So, hey, I am so happy that I got that project done. <laughs> like, I have been wanting to do a candle declutter forever. So now that that is done, woohoo! Check that one off of my list because whew, I have been wanting to do that and get that over with for the longest time. So um, this is also gonna go upstairs, which is the little storage thing. That way I can just go upstairs and grab what I need. Um, I would actually put this in the attic, 
but I do have those smaller candles in there and those little wax melts. So that'll just go in where the candles are gonna go to. But, um, but yeah, for the most part, that is it guys. We completed the candle declutter, the candle declutter of 2023. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. Okay, so that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little video, the little declutter with me. And um, whew, gosh, I can't tell you how good that feels. You guys heard it here first. How many times? Um, but thank you guys so much. If you guys needed to declutter some candles, highly recommend because it feels so good. It feels amazing to get that done. And I'm hoping that my nieces will enjoy the little candles that I have given them. Uh, like I said, if they don't want them, they can toss them. It's no big deal. I just don't want those ones to go to waste because those ones are still pretty good. I still have a lot of life to burn in them. Um, but yes. Awesome. All right, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.